today we're going to introduce a new quarter. Um, last week I was with friends and somehow we were talking about Zico and I mentioned his, brother, his older brother and people turned to me like, does Zico have an older brother? Does Zico have an older brother? What? So, I went on and told them about speed. So like, how can they not know speed? I mean, some are new to K-pop, they're not so new, so how can they not know about speed? So, I decided to create this, like, corner uh, where I'll introduce the K-pop noobs that I loved and love, okay? Um, there, I'll probably start focusing on the, the groups that have disbanded already and then go on to the ones that are still at least for what I know they are still going on so today I'm going to introduce the one that brought all these things up speed yes speed circus join me on the speed circus for those of you who don't know speed was a k-pop group created in 2012-13 I'll explain about it um, by MBK Entertainment. MBK Entertainment was the agency that at the time was managing Tiara, the group. The Speed members, they had actually debuted in 2010. Um, so the members were uh, Kwang Kang, Jonghoo, Taewon, Nori, and Sangmin. Um, Taewon is Zeko's brother, older brother. And the five of them debuted um, as part of this co-ed group with other four girls at the time who were also training in the company. Um, and they were the group was called Co-ed School. So that was it. And then from 2010 to 12, they released some stuff. I actually don't even remember those stuff. But then after 2012, um, the agency decided to separate the boys and the girls and debut them as separate groups so to them because of that two members left so it was Kwang Gang and um, Nori they left in 2012 and then it was added another three members to make speed basically um, the girls went on to be five dolls I'll introduce in another time and the boys went on to be speed so the official member who debuted as speed were um, Taewon, uh, Jonggu, Sejun, Teha, Sangmin, Yeonhan, and Jonggu. Um, Sangmin, uh, Yeonhan, and Jonggu were added after Nuri and Kwang had left in 2012. So still in 2012, um, they released um, a single album called Homage to Lovey Dovey, as in Tiara Lovey Dovey, and the title song was called Lovey Dovey Plus. But after Nuri and Kwang left the group, um, new members were added and they officially debuted in 2013 yes yes with um, it's over they're like official debut as a whole it's over was part of their official the first official um, album called superior speed and the other title was uh, that's my fault Sulpun uh, Yaksuk and then on the same year 2013 they went on to release um, a web package album digital one called Blow Speed, uh, whose title was Pain the Love of Heart, Tung uh, Jung. And then the following year, 2014, they released Speed Circus, um, with the title songs were uh, Focus, uh, Why I'm Not, We Nan Kok, and my personal favorite, Don't Tease Me, Nuloro Kanda. Nuloro Kanda, sorry. Um, in the same year, they also re uh, released another digital web package album called Look At Me Now and the titles were Zombie Party, which was also amazing, and Look At Me Now, which is the song that a lot of people link to them when they think about speed, at least those who know who are speed. Um, and then in 2015, they released their last album called Speed On and the single was What You. Um, Look At Me Now, the digital um, replicate album was the last one with leader Taewon because uh, in the following year, early 2015, he left to pursue his solo career and Yu Han was made leader then and a new member was added, Kyo, um, and they made a comeback in the summer which is the speed on. After that comeback in the summer of 2015, uh, there was no other releases by speed 
as a group. Um, their profile was removed, the, the group profile was removed from the MBK's in, MBK Entertainment's website, but no official statement was like released as to what, what happened to the group, nothing. Um, from what we know in like social media and stuff, some members follow on with their own lives. Some members are in the military right now, for what I know. I've never heard of Taewon, to be honest, I haven't been following Taewon that much. So that's it. Um, it was like like many other Dogu groups out there. It was a sad story. I mean, it was wild while it lasted. They could have achieved so much more if they had better management and like better everything, I guess. And, but it sucked. My favorite song, as I said, was uh, No Little Kanda. I love it. It's like the, the choreography, the dance, everything. Everything about that, their era was great. Um, Taya, in that comeback, it was so awesome. Like, so, and Look At Me Now was also, was also good. So yeah, actually after Look At Me Now, they were, I mean, before and during the promotion um, period for Look At Me Now, the digital album, there was, um, there were rumors that things weren't great and they could disband them or not and then in two then and then they came back into 2015 with that um speed on and everyone thought it was okay but then literally nada so it just shows how like groups from smaller not not just yeah group from smaller agencies trouble and yeah it was kind of sad when there was no news of them but i hope they're like the members are better i guess like leading a better life now with less struggle and uncertainty and headache and all the stress that comes with it so yeah i hope you guys were able to find out about this group and you can look at my all their songs are still there um weirdly um if you go on mbk entertainment's website you can still see like photos of them if you because I, I was searching online and there was a link of the official website but they are not listed anywhere as as in like there's like images of them as feed but there's they're not listed in any of the menu as artists or anything or even in the past which is like awkward so yeah Hope you like this and hope you look forward to the next one. I'll probably go with a girl group, maybe five dolls. Mm. So, see you next time. Bye.